Hi everyone, this is Erin from TerraWorks, and we wanted to give you a quick overview of some of the exciting new features that will be included in our 3.1 release that's coming out soon. Some of the major features for this release are in four areas. PPI, or the Progress at a Poverty Index Templates. Scoring, with some enhancements on the mobile side. Assigning jobs to groups. And some other usability enhancements that our customers have requested for their field staff. For those of you new to PPI or the Progress at a Poverty Index, the answers to a set of 10 questions about a household's characteristics and asset ownership are scored to compute the likelihood that the household is living below the poverty line. This helps organizations evaluate whether they are reaching those that are most vulnerable to poverty. For more information, please go to progressatapoverty.org. In the area of PPI, we have added eight new reports and two new dashboards, which are of course customizable to meet your organization's needs. The first dashboard is an example of an overview of PPI metrics for outreach and monitoring, allowing you to gain a sense of the economic situation of your TireWorks respondents and the outreach your field force is having by user when collecting this data. The second dashboard is an example of ways to analyze your PPI data by demographic information. In order to help you further slice and dice this poverty line probability data that you're gathering with TerraWorks, we've worked with our PPI team to add some demographic questions to all the PPI templates, including information like the age and gender of a respondent. Another feature that can be leveraged with PPI is an improvement that we've made in the area of scoring. TerraWorks scoring allows you to assign numeric values to individual multiple choice responses to survey questions in order to evaluate an otherwise qualitative response in a quantitative way. For example, an organization may say that based on the responses to a series of questions, if the score is below 50, the respondent is eligible for the organization's services. If above, they are not. Previously, field officers did not have that instantaneous visibility to see what the score was at the conclusion of a survey. Now with offline score calculation in 3.1, they do. And now the feature you've all been waiting for to help you manage jobs for your field force, assigning jobs to groups, affectionately known by some of our customers that are requesting this as groups. You can now control which jobs show up on a field officer's mobile device. For those of you who have a large volume of published jobs, of which only a subset may be pertinent to a particular mobile user or group of users, this should greatly improve your field team's user experience. You can manage assignments by individual users or by creating public groups. Additionally, as a TerraWorks user who is creating jobs, you can start by giving only yourself access to the job on your mobile device when you're testing your setup, before releasing it to the field. Full instructions on assigning jobs to groups will be published on our customer support site. There are also a few enhancements in the area of mobile usability. In order to streamline scenarios where a field officer wants to repeat the same job in succession, we've added a repeat job button at the end of the job, which will return the user back to the final selection in the hierarchy drill down. For example, in a scenario where you are registering a group of farmers where the hierarchy drill down requires selections of region, country, district, and village, when you click repeat job after registering the farmer, you will be returned to the village selection. This saves clicks to reopen the job and re-navigate the drill down, but you are able to choose to move back up the hierarchy should you want to make changes. When updating records, it was previously necessary to update any date fields on the existing record, as these fields would always be written. Now you have the option of skipping this question if it does not need to be updated. Finally, we've had some requests to update the wording at the end of a repeating section as it was confusing to some field officers. We've done so, and now the name of the section that you will be repeating is also referenced. We'll be hosting a webinar next week to do a more detailed overview of TireWorks 3.1. In the meantime, please check for documentation on our new features at tireworks.zendesk.com or feel free to shoot us questions at support at Thank you for watching this video, and have a great day.